Hello, this is a tutorial for Orton Gillingham lesson plans, word lists, and activities, level one. Today I'm going to be talking about the steps to an Orton Gillingham lesson from Spartan Special Teaching. So the first step you'll have is see and say. It's a sound drill. You're going to have your sound cards that are included in the packet, and you'll be saying A. Apple, ack, C, cat, k, F, fun, f. And you'll go through those sound cards with your students. So you'll do that each day. The next step will be phonemic awareness. Phonemic awareness is teaching to students about the sounds and words and how they work together. In this step, you'll have some phonemic awareness lists that you can use. You will give your student markers to use for this step. In this picture, I've said app, and the student moved up two markers for each sound in the word. Remember, you're not asking the student to write anything or even say the letter names. Just identify that they've heard two sounds. In the last picture, I said app. Now, I've said at. I've changed the second sound. So the second color has changed. They changed the second marker to show that change in sound. Some students struggle with this. So to help them, take their hand and have them touch each sound. In this case, I've said Sam. So there's three markers, one for each sound. Have the student touch them as you say Sam. Then have them say the word or syllable Sam. In this case, I've said Tam. So I've changed the first sound. So the first marker is what's changed out to a different color. If your students don't know what has changed, tell them, I said s -am. Now I've said t -am. Have your students touch each marker as they say the sounds to help them figure out which one has changed. This next step is dot and write. You're going to be segmenting words with your students. You'll say a word like pot, and they will fill in the circles for each sound that they hear. And then they will write the corresponding letter to go along with the circles that they filled in. This is an extremely helpful activity both for phonemic awareness and for the ability to write out words that they hear. I also encourage students to say the letters as they write them. P -O -T, P-O-T, pot. This next step is called tap and read. You will use this step to build fluency for your students. The word lists are carefully ordered so use them in the order in which they occur in your packet so that you don't cover things that your student hasn't learned yet. It may not be necessary for your student to do every list in the packet, but if they start to struggle, make sure that you've given them enough practice before going on to the next step. Each word list has sentences at the bottom, which you'll read with your students. The next step is extremely important. In order to create fluency for your students, they have to be able to visualize words. So what you're going to do is encourage that visualization process. You're going to have them read the sentence, then tell them, don't peek, I'm going to cover one of the words, cover it up and have them tell you what word you covered. In this case, I covered the word hid. So you'd have the student say hid, and then they would spell the word H-I-D. 
Have them spell out loud using their finger to write the word in the air or write it in sand. After they've spelled it, have them tell you what word they just spelled. Then you will repeat the process again with another word. I will have the student read the words again, then cover a word and say, what word did I cover? Then I will have them spell the word again in the sand or in the air. Then tell me what word they just spelled. The purpose of this is to get your student to see the words in their mind. Otherwise, what happens is many dyslexic students have to sound out the same word over and over again, and it's very difficult for them to gain fluency. I do encourage students to visualize and sound out words. Both are extremely important for fluency. Step seven is to listen, write, and draw. In this step, you'll have the student write the sentence that they just visualized. You will read it to them and then they will write it down. After they write it, you can check it with them and see if there's any mistakes and then go over that with them. After that, then they can draw a picture of what they think that sentence looks like. In your packet, you will also find some sight word visualization sheets. Using these sheets, your student will draw right in the word to help them remember letters that they cannot hear. For example, in the sheets above, of has an apple in the O and apple tree with leaves and apples on the F. The key sentence is, there are lots of apples on the tree. Have your student close their eyes and try to picture the word. Give them the trigger sentence to help them try to remember what was in their word. This is so important because with sight words, many of the letters we cannot hear or they don't correspond with the letters that are written. So we need to have them visualize the word. There are some optional activities. One is included in your packet, track and loop. It helps with eye-hand coordination and being able to recognize letters and sounds. The other two pictured here are activity packs with games and activities that correlate to this pack and also decodable stories that your students can read that correlate with this activity pack. I hope this video on the steps to a Norton Gillingham lesson has been helpful to you. If you are interested in buying this pack or other dyslexia related resources, click on the link below. Happy Smart and Special Teaching! Thank you!